What's up everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. EMT here and in this video we are taking out for a spin the brand new Insta360 Flow Pro. And I'm gonna share with you five reasons why I think it's worth the upgrade. Let's dive in. Now, I've been covering Insta360 products for a really long time, almost since the very beginning of the inception of this YouTube channel. And one of the major reasons why I continue to support Insta360 personally, it's because I've never been told what to say or what to do. The opinions on this video are my own. Take everything with a grain of salt because while this is not a sponsor video, there are affiliate links at the bottom in the description and in the pinned comment. So if you do end up picking up anything, it'll help the channel. But I thought you should know. Having said that, the Insta360 Flow Pro will start at 149 US dollars. The package includes the Insta360 Flow Pro, the magnetic phone clamp, a grip cover, USB type C to USB A for charging, a protective pouch, and quick start guide as well as warranty cards. Now at a glance, Insta360 Flow Pro looks very, very similar to Insta360 Flow. It includes your built-in tripod, it includes the very useful extension rod, great for selfies and low to the ground underslung. And it also has the same built-in cold shoe design as the previous iteration of Insta360 Flow for microphones or other cold shoe mountable accessories. Very useful if you're building your own rig using your smartphone. Now very quickly, I wanted to compare the image stabilization of Insta360 Flow Pro versus handheld to see if there was anything different. And then on top of that, I wanted to compare Insta360 Flow Pro against the former Insta360 Flow to see if there was also any discrepancies. And I'm gonna be real with you, I think both of them offer amazing, amazing image stabilization. So whether you have Insta360 Flow or Insta360 Flow Pro, regardless, you're gonna have very smooth, less shaky video. Insta360 has this dialed in. Your image stabilization across the board is gonna be fantastic. So if you're trying to make your footage look professional, cinematic, very smooth, definitely still to this day recommend stabilization like the Insta360 Flow Pro. Now I wanna jump straight to five reasons why we would upgrade. And reason number one is one tap pairing. The Insta360 Flow Pro has a brand new NFC sensor that upon tapping your smartphone, you'll be able to connect directly into the device. And this unlocks a myriad of different capabilities, but the ability for you to detach your phone and reconnect later onto the gimbal just makes everything a lot easier. You can absolutely ditch going into the menu to check to see if your Bluetooth settings and your gimbal is paired. The fact that we have the ability to auto reconnect just by tapping once and establishing that connection is super clutch. Now, reason number two, even if it doesn't seem like a big one, is the tracking ring light. This new tracking ring light, it's a great way to tell if your gimbal is paired to your smartphone. Now, you will be able to tell if Insta360 Flow Pro is paired to your smartphone because the light will be a solid light. Now, when the tracking ring light is flashing, that is reason number three. The Insta360 Flow Pro is the very first smartphone stabilizer to support dock kit. And this functionality, as it turns out, only available on iPhone, allows Insta360 Flow Pro to leverage the native camera tracking capabilities to keep you in the frame. No matter which application you're using, it could be Instagram, it could be TikTok, it could be the native camera app. If you're recording videos, you'll be able to have your gimbal follow you via NFC using the native sensor on your iPhone and this is very impressive. You can use this awesome functionality for video calls and have your phone keep you in the frame at all times. <laughs> Once again, this is extremely impressive because I've only seen this functionality on a different kind of product that is not quite a gimbal, but this is a very first gimbal that takes advantage of the built-in hardware of your phone to leverage movement on something that is not in your phone. 
Other manufacturers across the industry have been able to leverage and go around this by using additional sensors, which are awesome. Um, a lot of them are using AI, but I'm very impressed that Insta360 is finding ways to provide that same functionality without any additional hardware. Now this functionality works as intended when it's you and nobody else. However, if you're trying to track fast paced action or any sudden movements, that's when I would recommend you to switch over to the Insta360 app because they have now Active Track 3.0 with AI and it is much, much, much efficient, a little bit more snappier, a little bit more accurate to the point that if you hide behind a wall and come out different side, it will still remember you and pick you right up. But the fact that we can use this new functionality on Doc Kit and leverage the tracking capabilities of the native sensor and have the gimbal move for you, it's really, really impressive. Reason number four is 360 degree infinite pan tracking, which is amazing. Not only manually you can pan using the built-in joystick, but if you're using the tracking capabilities from Doc Kit or the Insta360 app, you'll be able to walk around the gimbal, dance around the gimbal, or skate around the gimbal and stay on the frame. And this is huge for solo content creators because you don't rely on either somebody else to help you start, stop recording, or follow you, or select you, or select you so you're on the frame, but you can also use gestures within the Insta360 app to start, stop recording, and create what you intend. So 360 degree panning with the Insta360 Flow Pro, and on top of that, going back to the tracking ring light, that that's what you'll be able to use to tell if you're being tracked with Doc Kit or with the AI Deep Track 3.0. And gestures on top of that, it, it, it seems like this is becoming a really amazing solo content creation solution. And reason number five is the magnetic phone mount. Now I wanted to include the magnetic phone mount to one of the reasons why I love this gimbal, because it completely redefined the way that I approach now this gimbal. Of course, the magnetic phone clamp, it's still a valuable tool for fast action, if you're running with it, or if you're just overall tracking just action, skateboarding, things like that. However, if you're casually recording and you're not gonna add up a lot of weight or any other accessories to your smartphone, the magnetic phone mount allows me to leverage my phone's magnetic capabilities and it's a breeze if I want to take it off, post, put it back in, continue to record. With the tracking ring light, I can see that I'm being tracked or it's paired. And it's just a beautiful thing, being able to use all these reasons together. It just makes for a compelling upgrade. The Insta360 Flow Pro supports a 300 grams of payload capacity, so you'll be able to leverage your big smartphones and while it looks very, very similar to Insta360 Flow, all the amazing features of the touch scrolling wheel that I loved from that video one year ago um, are still there. I referenced OG iPods to the way that we maneuver around the UI and I actually love that. I miss the simplicity and just, just the elegance of using the touch scrolling wheel. So all that is here. The fact that this gimbal is foldable and it fits in pockets of jackets and depending on the pounds you're wearing, you might be able to also put it in your pocket. It just opens up the door for you to be able to create on the go in a very minimalistic fashion without sacrificing on some high-end features. And just the price at 149, I think it is a compelling reason to upgrade if and only if you're very interested in those capabilities. Infinite padding not only helps with your ability to move freely around your gimbal when you're tracking and recording videos, but also on things like time lapses, motion time lapses. It just opens up the door for you to be able to capture a much wider environment. And let's not forget that you can capture awesome panoramic images and 360 degree photos with the Insta360 Flow Pro. So having shared all that, I am legitimately very impressed with some of the innovations that Insta360 has brought to the table. Definitely not the first gimbal in the market to do 360 degree panning, but it's a substantial upgrade if you're coming from an Insta360 Flow or even a gimbal that doesn't do 360 degree panning. The fact that you can leverage their tracking capabilities within the app as well as Doc Kid is also another innovation that I feel will open up 
more opportunities for you to create content across different apps, not only grounded to the Insta360 app. The overall ease of use with the one tap pairing capabilities will save you time and it's always about saving time while creating. If you don't have a gimbal already, totally recommend it. But I wanna know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down there so we can continue to create content for you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All the links to all the gear I use, including the Insta360 Flow Pro, are down in the description as well as a pinned comment. Once again, thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I'll catch you on the next one.